So what we're going to do in this video is I want to show you guys how you can come up with an end product that looks kind of like this. It's a game board where the students will roll a die and progress throughout uh, this snake here until they get to the end finish. And the nice thing about this, how I have it set up, is that in normally in Jamboard, if you just create stuff in there, like if I put, uh, say, a sticky note in here, I've, I've seen people make these, these game boards with sticky notes. And the problem with that is sticky notes can be moved around and once you share these with the student. Whereas if you do it the way I'm going to show you how to do it, nothing, none of this stuff, except for these game pieces, which the students will add in later, none of this can be moved around. So the steps for doing this are, one, go to your Google Drive, go to New, More, Google Drawings. You'll come up with a blank drawing that looks like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Page Setup, and then change it to the widescreen 16 by 9. By default, it'll show you 4 by 3. We're going to make it 16 by 9, hit Apply, and then you'll see it change a little bit. The reason we're going to do that is because it fits the Jamboard better. Um, after that, you're going to go ahead and just start fooling around with uh, the background by putting in, um, you could put in boxes, shapes like this, and fill them with colors if you want to, which is how I made this big green box. And then for these yellow boxes, which these are all just individual boxes, I made one, put the text in it, and then copy and pasted it all the way throughout here. And then I changed the words as necessary. And then over here, I put the directions for my game, which I'll explain to you in a minute how um, I envision this working in class. So once you're done with this, oh, by the way, before I show you the next step, this is available to you in the description of the video if you want to um, make a copy of this and then edit it as you want, go for it, it's in the description. So the next step is to go to File, Download, JPEG. All right, that's downloaded to my computer. Now I'm gonna go to jamboard.google.com and I'm gonna click on the little plus button over here to make a new jam. We'll call this Sample Jam Game. All right, first step is you're going to set the background. Click the little plus button right here, image. I'm going to upload the file that I just downloaded, which happens to be the most recent one on my computer here, which makes it easy. Click Open. Okay, and then what we're going to do here is this is what you're going to end up giving to the students. Um, so. Once I've got this ready to go, I'm going to click the little expand frame bar up here at the top. And I want to make a bunch of copies of this. The reason being is, let's say I have a class of up to 40 students. I can make 20 copies here, and I can have two students play per slide. So let's say I sign all the students a slide, and John is playing with Sally on slide one. What they're then going to do is choose a character that they want to be. So they need to have editing privileges to, in order to make put their characters on this slide. So to do that, over here on the share, I'm going to click share. I'm going to change this to anyone with the link can edit. And then I'm going to copy that link. You're going to get that link to your students. So they'll jump on to this Jamboard. And you'll have their whole class on this Jamboard and they'll be on various slides and you're going to tell them, okay, choose a character that you want to be and put their picture onto the slide that you have been assigned. So they're going to come over here and add an image. So let's say that somebody would like to be, oh, I'm sorry. Let's go Google image search because that's easier. Uh, let's go with Bernie Sanders mittens, maybe make it uh, current. Oh, Google's disappointing me. All right, so we're going to be Bernie Sanders, insert. They're going to resize that a little bit. So we'll have each student will put, pick a picture that they want to be. They'll be on the start here. And the issue that I see with playing this is that I think the best way to do it is if you have students that are distance or at home and maybe some in class or maybe they're all distance, is that I think it would be best if you as the teacher rolled the die for everyone at the same time. Uh, the reason being is if they're, or maybe one of them is doing it, or even if they're both rolling the die by themselves, they could easily cheat and just say they got this number, or they got that number, uh, and that would be unfair. So if I roll the die with this website right here, freeonlinedice.com, and so everyone's ready and I just say, you know, dos, and the person goes dos, and then they have to do is tell their partner what that is. Now we can figure out a different way to do that by either putting it in the chat box or 
maybe they uh, decide to uh, write it on there or something like that. So they get to tell their partner that the answer for that to form of comer in the preterite is comiste. Awesome. And then my rules for this game are if you get it right, you get to go one more time. So the teacher then says uh, the next number, let's say it's an uno, they go here and they say, um, maybe they say vivimos and they get it wrong because it was supposed to be vv. They go back, next person's turn. Let's say they go here and they get it right. They stay there, but it's the next person's turn. The reason I did that is so they could have a maximum of two turns in a row. So you as a teacher, you're, you're calling up the numbers, the students are going, oh, I get to skip two spaces or go back two spaces. Um, and we go through the game until we finish. And that's kind of how I envision it. If this is something you can use, awesome. I hope it works out. If you have questions about anything I've shown you in this video, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So have a nice day and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Hasta luego.